Hey guys, this is Quincy from 3dkitbash.com here to quickly walk you through some of the skulls in our Pro Version Skull Kit 2. Uh, this here is our alligator, kind of a nice looking alligator. All of our models uh, at the time with these skulls is uh, they're kind of stylized versions, although they do keep some of the the authentic qualities of the uh, the actual animal skull. So I think the the alligator is a pretty formidable looking guy right here nice nice teeth uh, from there let's jump over to the ankylosaurus the ankylosaurus he is our only dinosaur in this kit um, nice fairly geometric head going on there uh, I, I really I actually like this uh, skull a lot because it, it reminds me of a spaceship or something uh, but you know pretty cool. Uh, from there let's move over to an odd skull. Here is our giraffe. A lot of people aren't really quite familiar with what a giraffe skull looks like but this this is a stylized version of what a giraffe skull looks like. Kinda neat. All that damage that you see there on his uh, on his skull uh, that is actually represented in the mesh so uh, you what you're looking at is not uh, a texture map. It's it's actually the mesh itself, and uh, I guess you could say what you what you see is what you get. Uh, there's a lot of damage on these guys. Uh, from there, let's move on to a saber tooth tiger. Yeah, I like him from the front. He's got a nice savage quality to him. He's a fun one. There's a lot to, to do with this one. I, I've always thought that this guy might actually be fun as kind of like a helmet. At the start of a helmet or maybe like uh, some shoulder pads. Uh, from there, let's go to the Vulture. Vulture, um, kind of a peculiar skull, uh, like the Giraffe uh, and the Ankylosaurus, I guess. Like a, a lot of people end up finding our videos searching for this this skull along with some of those more peculiar guys I guess there's just not a lot of competition out there but um he's cool he's a lot of fun uh, he can he can be decoration on any number of things if you wanted to incorporate him in um, the centerpiece of this set is actually this deer with antlers the first uh, the first kit skull kit actually uh, had the antlers alone as the bonus so you were able to get those without having to deal with the skull to deattach them to you could get this kit and just take off the skull and you'd have antlers but all those antlers are hand sculpted uh, digitally they are not scans and the details that are on them have all been applied by hand so I'm pretty fond of this guy he's a lot of fun and I, I think that he's really nicely balanced and um, I don't know. He'd make a good, uh, a good addition to any nice, uh, formidable imagery that you might want to create. So the bonus for this kit is um, is a femur, and whereas the femur is a little bit boring on its own, uh, whenever you add it to itself, it actually becomes kind of cool looking. There you go. Kind of cool. You you can see where I'm going with this. Uh, the idea is you can create a number of skull and crossbone sort of layouts using those. Here's one featuring the the deer. We actually have him on the package. Uh, again, you can find this set on 3dkitbash.com along with two other skull sets, uh, and then we also have an individual skull, which is a dog skull. That's pretty cool. You might want to check out. Um, also on 3dkitbash.com we have a, a free set that you can download to kind of get an idea if you can actually use our files. All of our files are OBJs and uh, we, we uh, try to make them nice for you. Hope you've enjoyed the video. This is Quincy from 3dkitbash.com. Uh, please visit the site. Let us know what you think.